So you know I've already installed one of these in my home. You can see my previous videos on that. But I've had some questions about, can you install a second one in your home? So we're going to do that right now. I've got a thermostat downstairs, but I've also got another thermostat on my second floor. Right there. And this is the exact same thermostat I had downstairs before I installed the new Amazon thermostat. So we're going to go ahead and install a second one and see how this works. Let's go ahead and get this off the wall. Check out the wire pattern. That C wire there is very important. And we're going to go ahead and get the power turned off, get the new one installed. And then we're going to get this set up in the Amazon Alexa app and see how it works as a secondary Amazon thermostat in one home. Okay, so we've got the thermostat all wired up, got the power turned back on. We're going to go ahead and snap this on. This thing should light up. There it goes. So from here, this is where we need to open the Amazon Alexa app. And we're going to go ahead and add this as a new device through the app. Remember, you do need your QR code, which is located on the back of the little blue booklet that comes with the thermostat. Don't lose that code. And we're going to be doing this through a Bluetooth connection, so make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. And we're going to go ahead and bring up the Amazon Alexa app now and get this thing added. Okay, so we've got the Amazon Alexa app open now. We're going to go ahead and go down to devices down there in the bottom right corner. Okay, and then from here we are going to hit the plus up at the top right. And we're going to add device. And then from here, we're going to scroll down to thermostat. Okay, this is an Amazon thermostat. Okay, has it been installed? Yes. It does display set. Now it's going to connect to the app. And this has to go through the permissions of uh, your Bluetooth and your camera. We're going to go ahead and scan the barcode that comes on the back of the Hello pamphlet that comes with the thermostat. Don't lose that. Okay. We've got that scanned. So now it is looking for the thermostat via Bluetooth. There you go. It found it. Now it's connecting it to my Wi-Fi. There you go. So, as you can see, it picked up second thermostat found. And now you can see it's blinking on the actual thermostat. We're getting a little warning light right there, which is normal. We're going to hit next. Okay, so now it's asking, where is your thermostat? So, let's see what we got on the options here. Okay, upstairs. Perfect. That's what I want. Okay, we're going to add that to the group. Second thermostat added to upstairs. Okay, now this is important that you get your wiring configuration right. Make sure you go back to the picture you took previously. Okay, so I know I have a Y yellow wire, I have a G green wire, I have a C common wire. And I also have a W white wire and I have an R red wire. Okay, nothing else in there. Now, I was told by Amazon uh, customer support that if you have a heat pump, uh, you may have to move the W wire to the O slash B connection. So, just letting you know that in case you're having issues with your heat pump. We're going to hit next. Okay, everything looks correct. Y, G, C, R, W. That's five wires. Okay, next. Do I have a forced air system? Yes. Okay, I have natural gas in my house. Next. Okay, and you can see it is communicating. The thermostat just went into the off mode. Okay, now we're going to be testing it. We're going to hit next. 
Okay, so did your heat turn on? I just heard it click. And I can actually hear, because um, right underneath my attic, I can hear everything kicking on upstairs, uh, up in the attic. So yes, heat is on. Okay, everything seems to be functioning. Did your fan turn on? Now it says it might take up to five minutes. I've already gone through this on my other thermostat downstairs. I know everything should be fine. Everything should be functional. We're going to go ahead and just say yes, fan is on. Okay, so how to control your thermostat, and the fan actually did just kick on, I hear it. Uh, I don't want to do any type of automatic scheduling. Um, I don't want any of that, so we're going to say later. And we're going to hit next. We're going to hit done. Okay, so here's where we're going to make some adjustments here. Right now the system is off. I'm going to go ahead and put this on heat. And there you go, the little red heat indicator came right on. That green tree at the top indicates we are in eco mode, which basically happens if you are 68 degrees or less. That just means you're being efficient. So I'm actually, uh, the upstairs doesn't get used as much here. So I'm going to uh, just, I think I'll just bump that down a little bit here. We're going to, we're going to set it at 67 degrees. And there you go. It just set to 67. It's currently 68, so it should be cutting off momentarily. You can see the humidity is 36%. But there you go. Everything's working. Now, if we go back to the home screen on the Amazon Alexa app. Okay, we're going to refresh this screen here. Um, so you can do control thermostats. Let's see, now we have two thermostats. We have my downstairs one, which is not labeled as downstairs, but I'll try to fix that later. And then we have a new device, second thermostat upstairs. So you can clearly identify them. If I click on the downstairs thermostat, there's the settings for that one. I can go back, do the upstairs thermostat, and there's the settings for that one. They are independent of each other. Now, I do only have one system, uh, one heating and air system in this house, but two thermostats so that the upstairs and downstairs can be controlled independently of each other and it's just it's really great that you can uh, see these in the app as two separate items uh, because they have two separate names you can control them with your Amazon Alexa devices so if you wanted to speak and say you know please change temperature on upstairs thermostat that would work so I hope that helped everyone and uh, if you have any questions please leave a comment down below I would love for you to subscribe and hit like and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.